my foster child, my ex-foster child, is having a baby, which means I'm going to be a foster granny again. I got so many. And tomorrow, she is having a reveal party. So she's asked me to do some food for her and to bake her a cake. So my cake is going to be the baby reveal one. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. Her favorite cake is like a Victoria sponge. So I'm going to make a sponge cake. It ain't, it ain't going to be no Victoria sponge. It's going to be a mama sponge. A mama sponge cake. And then on the inside when they go to cut it, they will know what the baby is. And you will know what sex the baby okay, is. Okay, the gender. I was like, the baby's a baby. No, what gender? <laughs> what gender? And the you first will time know, you said it. You will know as well when I get to that stage of decorating the cake. Because I'm not even going to tell you yet, okay? So, this cake is a very quick and simple cake. One that anybody can make. Very easy. Um, I've done this before. First thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to grease my tin. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a little bit of the butter that I'm going to be using in the cake. I'm going to spread that on our tin. Make sure you do the bottom particularly, okay? Obviously with the sides you can always go around it with a knife, but you want to make sure it's not going to stick at the bottom. So get that bottom and sides done. Then just going to take a teeny bit of the flour Throw that in, bash it about. Now, y'all know me, I like to wear funny glasses. It's been a while since I've worn them. I've got to get back into it. But today particularly, because I haven't been that well recently, and my eyes are looking pretty yucky-lucky. So, just a little bit more just to get the sides. So that's the first step. Also, get your oven preheated. Um, I've got my oven set to 150. That's hot enough. Okay, about three. That's about 350 degrees. About 150. Um, 150, 170. Turn it up a bit. Okay. Remember, when making a cake, it's about having equal quantities. So, you know me, guys. I'll be using no measuring um, jugs, even though I got one here. That's just to pretend to show you that I own one. Okay. So you can use it if you want. But I'm using my bowls. They're equal. And therefore, first thing first, I'm going to add my butter. Okay? So my softened butter goes into my bowl. To the softened butter, we're going to add some sugar. Now, this is, I'm going to pour it in. I'm reckoning, hopefully it's going to fill that. Let's see how much it is. Just for y'all that want to know. Yeah, see, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. All right. Eyeball queen. So, there we go. So, that's just a, if you want to look at it in terms of sizes, it's, well, it says a pint, but you ain't looking at it's it the as other a side. pint. In yeah. terms of your grams, it's about, who knows, <laughs> a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's going in there. To that, I'm going to add my vanilla. So, I'm not, um, I could uh, well, I ain't using that spoon. <laughs> See, Mama, I, I'm, I'm hot. I'm bothered. So, so I ain't even going to do it. No, because I'm going to do it the way I was going to do it. That's what it is. Okay? About a tablespoon. I want the, quite a bit of vanilla in there. Then, we're going to beat this all together. So, that plugged in. Put my table back. So, you just want to whip this together. So it's nice and light and fluffy. Just get all that sugar and butter together. Put that down in there. It's really quick cake. Okay, now stop it at that stage. Now we're gonna add four eggs to this. Now um, when we were bringing the eggs down, this one fell on the table. It ain't broke through. Katrina was about to throw it in I the I was. I admit it. And y'all know me. Don't bin it, spin it. I know. I should and, know and, better. And, I was and, tired. I and know, now I wasn't one, thinking. And why would you even throw it away? Because, Mama, I wasn't thinking. So, it just wasn't crack that egg. my brain. Check it. Okay. In you go. Next egg. 
Okay. These eggs are very pale. And they're all sorts of different sizes. But we just want to get. There we go. Then. This is when it gets nice and light. doing this, well no not while I'm doing this because you ain't going to be able to hear me, but one thing you can do is like and subscribe to our channel. If you have not become a patron, please do. I need you, okay? I need you. I really do. And you patrons, patrons help the world go by, the world go by, the world turn around. We've got some new patrons, but I'll wait for you to stop okay. doing that. Oh, look how nice that does. Okay, so we have some new patrons that I want to bring attention to. Katrina's going to read those out to you. Yeah, so we want to say hello and welcome and thank you to Roberta Tufts and to Ben Gaskell. Ben Gaskell's coming to do an experience, I think. Yes, he is. Yeah. Hi, Ben. He's coming to do one of my Airbnbs in September. I can't wait to meet you. Okay. And Rachel Carver and Anne Williams. Yes, so welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for staying with us, all of you patrons who have been with us. We've got some We've got who some have been, been there from the beginning. From the beginning. Very beginning. Thank you. You are truly part of this family, and we appreciate all of you. Okay? Now, next step to this, we're now going to add some flour. So I'm going to just put a little flour in at a time. Can I ask why that why you do that a little bit at a time? What's the reason? Because otherwise it just gets too gloopy. Okay. And you really want to mix it all in. So if you were to dump it all in, would it? It, just, it, 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 it You may find that it's too much. Oh, okay. So this way we know where we're going. So okay. I'm just getting a little bit more. You and now I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder. And even though I use self-rising, I always add some additional baking powder. I just do. Starting to get quite thick. So this is just a basic sponge cake. Basic yeah? sponge cake. That's all this is. Basic sponge. I don't think I've ever baked a cake from scratch before on my own. Uh, you should try. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more. Now at this stage. If it gets too thick, we add a little bit of liquid, and it is going to be. And I've got some fresh homemade buttermilk that I made. I'm going to add a little, says, you know, you could add just, I'm going to just add a touch of buttermilk to this. Okay, and that's going to help it. Is that um, a vital ingredient, or is that optional? No, it's optional, buttermilk. You can just, but the, the butter, I mean, the actual milk may be if it's too thick, if it's too thick. As you can see here, this is quite thin. And keep blending it, so I'm going to add a little bit more. We want it to be a nice batter. Okay, so we're doing good. Stick with me, don't even turn off. I want them to see how long to beat this. Oh, okay. Real time, Mama. Yes. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Very good. Who taught you to bake cakes, Mum? Um, let me see here. I think... I don't know. All my aunts baked. Mm -hmm. My grandmother and my great aunts. Not my auntie aunts. But mm -hmm. some of them did as well. Mm -hmm. I've just always liked cooking. And I've always baked. So, here we go. So now we're going to divide this amongst two tins. Because this is a layered cake, alright? Now, traditional Victoria sponge is your sponge and then you put raspberry jam and a little bit of um, some icing or some cream through it. So what I'm going to do, don't even look at me like that Katrina, I don't want to hear it, I'm not in the mood, it's icing, they know what I mean, they know what I mean, don't even go there, 
I didn't say a word. Yeah, you didn't have to. I didn't say a word. I know, I know you. I saw it in my eyes. I didn't say anything. Y'all support me here. She was trying to make me say some other word. I didn't say anything. You know you wanted to. I didn't. It just makes me smile every time you say the word icing. Because it's... Because it's icing. Icing. Icing, icing. It's all the same. <laughs> I'm going to make one to go with this. Okay. Um, okay, so there we go. So we've got our cake mixture. So are you going to put the jam through it or are you going to do something different because it's a gender reveal cake? Well, no. What I'm going to do, I'm, no, I'm going to show you when I do it. Okay. You're going to see. Okay. You will see exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so that's that. So now we just have to get this into the oven. It'll probably bake for about 25 minutes. That's mm -hmm. all it's going to take. Um, and then while it's in the oven, what we're going to do is while it's baking, I will get out all of the other ingredients that we need to finish this cake off. But let's get these into the oven. Pop shell. Boom, let it boom, boom. Let's wait. Come back to you in a minute. Turn it off. Welcome back. Now, my cakes. As I was cooking my cakes, I was also doing another recipe. So I kept opening and closing in the oven. Don't do that. Because when you do, this is what happens. Your cake does not rise properly. This, they rose and they fell. But guess what? Flavor's still there. And we're going to make it work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with some like fresh cream. With some icing um, beat in with it. And then... I'm going to tell y'all, because the party's tomorrow, so we're not going to reveal anything to anybody else, because they'll all know by the time this gets uploaded. So guess what she's having? She's having a baby boy. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get me some double cream. Actually, do I want to go with the double cream? Or the, no, I want to go with the double cream. I'm going to put some double cream. And I'm going to, to the double cream, going to add a touch of vanilla. And then we're going to start to whip this. Throw it down. Ah. And we've got icing sugar. So this is going to help thicken it. So let's add some icing sugar. Cream, you gotta be careful because oh look at that. Mmm. If you're not careful, you will turn it into butter. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's about that's about what we want. Okay. Great. So, now let me see which one's going to be. I think that one's going to be the one that I'm going to flip on top. Well, we got to see. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take myself a glass, this one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out a hole. Okay? Because that is the bottom. I'm going to now take that in half, because we do want a little bit of a bottom, and go like that. Then, oh, I think we're going to taste that. Let me taste it. Mmm. 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 It's tasty. Mm. Good. Really tasty. Mmm. Very good. 
then we're going to take these and we're going to fill these into that hole. I was going to put that piece of cake back over the top of it, but nah, nah. we ate it. I ate it. <laughs> then, we're going to get spatula. Who's that little ninja? <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna go go around. What are you looking for eating? More food? Yeah, I'm hungry. You're hungry? Just come in from school. Okay, go and get yourself something. Get gonna get some fruit. Okay, go on. Grab some fruit. I just came back from the supermarket. What do you want? You're in my. You're gonna have my blueberries. Okay, I'll have some strawberries. A few. Okay. Okay. Mmm. I'll take the packet and eat a few. Yes, go on. So now, oh boy, because this was, it's not too hot. It's not too hot. So there we go. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Then, I need more of this. Yeah, you do. Because I do want to kind of. Yeah, cover it. Kind of cover it. So let's make up. Do you to put that stuff on first and then make fresh or all that? Because um, otherwise it will be uneven. Yeah, we'll put yeah. That there. So let's put the rest of this in. Okay, I'll come back. I've made up another amount, just a bit. Now, all I want to do really is just kind of place it on. I'm not going for beauty at this point. I'm going to add to this. So this is just to kind of get it together. Sides. And this is just to kind of put it all, piece it all together. Oh, yeah. Mm. And there's not an awful lot of this here. And this is just to give it a very thin layer. Now what you getting? Nothing. Oh, you're putting the strawberries, putting back. The strawberries back. Okay. Oh, this is good. Get every drop of it. <laughs> okay. Now, I've got these little sweeties. Oh, they're pink and blue. Yes, they're pink, pink and blue. Them. Because then this way, and they look like little baby bottles. Oh, they do. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's sweet. You made many gender reveal cakes. This is my very first. Oh, cool. Let's face it, back in my day, you got the reveal was when you had it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's when you reveal to the world, it's a boy, it's a girl, <laughs> it's twins. Well, you'd know it was twins beforehand, wouldn't you? Yeah, you but know? you don't know the sex. Yeah. Till they come out. So. Kind of like that. 
Uh -huh. And then, hold up. It's cute. I'm going to put, tomorrow, before we go, I'm going to put some fresh fruit. I'm mm -hmm. going to put some strawberries and blueberries probably around it. Nice. But I don't want to put those on right now. But, hold up. i got one more thing. And just to confuse them anymore, I'm going to put yellow. <laughs> That's cute. And they won't know until they cut into the cake what it actually is. Fantastic. So I hope she enjoys that. I think she'll enjoy that. I think she'll like it. She's getting it for free. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got a countdown. So, here we go. Pink or blue? Pink or blue. All right, we're turning around this way. There we go. Pink or blue. So you want us to do a countdown? Should we do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we do it? There we go. Three. Pink or blue? Three, two, one. Blue. In the cake, in the middle. <laughs> it's a boy! It's a boy! <laughs> so here we go with our baby gender reveal cake. And the surprise is on the inside to let them know what it's going to be. So with a little bit of peace, all I love, and so from the mama, Going to the baby party to real reveal that I see you guys. Take care and remember if you don't know, if you ain't ready, prepared to have a baby, put a sleeve on it. <laughs> Protect yourself. This world is full. However, Bring a baby in if you got the love, the time, the patience, and the care to give to that child. And it don't care. Ain't worried about no reveal. Ain't about no reveal. Oh Let's keep it real. Oh my gosh, you just All right? my mom. Bye. <laughs>